straight to the east, straight to the west. Back in my day, we didn't have computers. Everything around here is fucking magnets. <laughs> Make sure you get rid of the drippings. Yeah, get out. He's all about the dry jacket. No wonder your balls are hurting. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Swinging. <laughs> no, we could have done this way, Shane. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know what you're thinking. This is not a 1964 Datsun 320 on a 2002 Nissan Xterra supercharged frame. This is an 08 Honda Accord that I just done a timing belt on four months ago. And the belt tensioner for the serpentine belt, it only has one bolt holds it in and it's sheared off. So that's what we're going to be fixing today. And uh, I have identified the issue of why it happened and how we can make sure it doesn't happen again. I'll show you now. Uh, here is the belt tensioner. There's two different kinds that come on these, one with a damper, one without a damper. This one has the damper, which is what this is right here. That being said, we have two um, bearings and a bolt. One bolt holds the whole tensioner in. And this bolt and this tensioner assembly is from Amazon. And if you can see here, on the bolt, it is stamped 10, not 10.9, 10. This bolt is a better bolt, same bolt, is stamped 12.9. I do not know, I do not know what 10 means, but I know this is a bad bolt because it broke because this Amazon tensioner assembly is what we originally replaced on this because the, uh, the OEM one was locked up. Um, so we replaced it and I used the new bolt and that was a mistake. So it has since sheared off in the block and now I have to weld a nut on it, remove it, install this new one, but use the better bolt. And you can't buy these bolts from Honda. So this was obtained in other ways. So. Uh, this is for a family friend, kind of like that Volkswagen I was working on uh, the other, like, three weeks ago. Um, this is a single mom, so I'm not going to charge her, because she don't need no man. Well, I guess besides me to fix it, but either way, we're going to get it done today. This one's equipped with the V6. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's the J35, which has aluminum block. So this should make it a little bit easier. Let me try to zoom in here and get y'all situated here with what we're doing. Right down there next to the alternator. See that bolt is sheared off? Yeah. I try to get a right angle drill up in here, but uh, not a lot of space and it didn't fit. So we got it towed out here and I'm going to try to give it a go. I'm going to try to get the camera in as best as I can. This is a really tricky spot. But uh, if worst case, I'll show you the aftermath of what I did. And we'll get the new one installed. All right. So that's the bottom bolt for the damper. And right there is the uh, bolt we got to weld. Or the rest of it we got to weld a nut on and try to extract it. So I'm going to get that set up. All right. Located me a good nut, which I'm sure, as you know, is hard to find. And uh, it's not too big, not too small. So I'm gonna weld it on. We'll see how well it works.
All right, as you can see, that didn't work very well. I had my cousin Max come by here and had him hold the nuts while I tried to weld on it. Those weren't very good nuts. I got some new ones we might try, but uh, as you can see, we busted all kinds of nuts in this single mother's car. So we're gonna have to get this fixed ASAP. <laughs> it's hard to see, but yeah, right up in there. What I'm thinking is getting a, I got a drill bit extender on the way. Drill a small hole around right here and then use a drill a little bit into it and then use a left hand drill bit or an easy out, which I have both and see if that works. But I'm gonna tackle this tomorrow. I'm gonna have my brother here in Max. So we got three sets of eyes on it and somebody to film. So it might be a little bit better and uh, see if we can't get this going. I've delegated work. We've all busted nut here. So now we're gonna take the bracket off because I didn't realize it was a bracket. So. We, we can call this plan B. All right, got alternator removed, AC compressor disconnected, radiator removed, and now we can get to two bolts that are holding that bracket on. <laughs> I said Stacy's microphone just goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all no, it sometimes it goes. Mm -hmm. That is true, it does, it does switch. Sometimes it goes. That's the remix. <laughs> this is recording. Huh? Oh, so this is recording. No, it's fine. No. It's fine. <laughs> I think you welded it to the bracket. Well, see, and that's what I thought because I thought that was the block and the lo not. block's aluminum. aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously that steel bracket is not aluminum. No. Give me a uh, grinder. All right. Break yourself, fool. Dang, man. Just a little bit of bolt there. Bad driving. Bad driving? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you by any means. <laughs> that is how it is working on cars in Ukraine. <laughs> all right so we tried to use this one but uh the nut rounded off so we gave in and we got a good brand we got a gates one on there and that one went on there without issue so now i just got to throw the radiator in that's the reason we're replacing the radiator right there watch this Fucker, you have a core charge <laughs> He said, I smell horses in here. Frank, he's on the hood. Get him, get him, get him, Frank. You guys said one? Oh, oh, it's a forbidden power aid. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you bust nuts in a single mother's car. I mean, fix a single mother's car. Catch you next time.